Hey everybody, it's James Waller with Thrive for Good. I spent the last week out in East Africa, specifically Western Kenya, and I had the great opportunity of visiting a handful of projects that Thrive is supporting and empowering. We visited communities, we visited local churches, we visited schools and orphanages and even prisons. And the one thing that stood out to me is in each one of the places that we visited, in each one of the projects, the question we asked them was, how is your life different? And what has changed since being a part of the life gardens that they are empowered with? And every single community shared that the life is different because of the disease-fighting foods and the nutrition and health and the lower amounts of uh, disease prevalence. We heard countless stories where people talked about how they used to suffer from malaria. And nowadays they do not have uh, malaria and they don't get it anymore due to the, the life gardens and the artemis, specifically the artemisia that they plant and they take. One of the things that really uh, stuck out to me is here in Western uh, Kenya and specifically even all over East Africa, one of the most common staple foods is ugali, which is a corn based meal. And so most communities and people, uh, most of their diet is ugali and it looks like this. And it's one of those now where with life gardens and all of the vegetables and the nutrients from spinach and collards and kale uh, that are grown, so many more nutritional density is added to, uh, to their diet. Uh, I specifically recall we stopped at a school and there was about 15 students on their day off that were working in the garden. And the class president, his name was Bromley, he stood up and he shared for about 10 minutes talking about everything he had learned and the students learned as they work in a garden with about 110 beds. And what really captivated me is how much he, they understand and he has taken the knowledge and even they're making a surplus, they're making revenue from their gardens. And he shared that since he is scared to go home and talk to his parents about needing school supplies, whether it be a uh, school uniform, whether it be pencils and notepad, that they're actually using the money that they get from their garden um, and the, the surplus and the extra. And they're using it to buy school supplies. And I was just so amazed how a project like this is transforming uh, not just their lives, but their mind and how they view things. So it was very encouraging the last week, meeting so many people in communities that have really taken a hold and how their life has so changed. And I just want to thank you for being part of this journey and that we're all doing this together.